Hi guys, welcome to Sorata, Bolivia. I got here two nights ago and came from Copacabana. So a few things I left out, forgot to tell you guys um, that I also learned about Copacabana or Lake Titicaca. Well, first of all, apparently Lake Titicaca means Piedra de Puma, which is like a puma rock or stone. Again, that's back to what I had mentioned previously in Puno that the lake's supposed to be shaped like a puma, as many other things in Incan history. Um, and also, originally, the name was Lake Tiricarca, something like that. Uh, and the Spanish had trouble pronouncing the original name, so they just changed it to Lake Tiricaca, because that was easier. Um, so anyways, just a couple side notes there. Um, another thing or two I forgot to mention is I once again bumped into the same Spanish couple that I originally met in Chicama and also ran into um, on the Salkantai trek to Machu Picchu. I also bumped into them the day I went to the islands on Isla de la Luna and everything. So funny running to, into them again for the second time, um, but they're heading north and I'm heading south, so should be the last time. And then another funny thing is when I was back in Lake Copacabana, I'm confusing everything now. When I was back in Copacabana, um, I also ran into this French couple that was pretty much couch surfing, more or less uh, the same place in Puno. So I had just seen them like days before and ran into them. So pretty funny running into people along the way. Um, the rest of my time in Copacabana was chill. I just walked to this place called Boca del Sapo, which there's a nice little path close to the water um, towards the bottom of that mountain where you can get a really good view from which is called Sagrado Corazón de Jesús I think um, so the bottom of that mountain there's like a path that kind of wraps around pretty views along the way and then you get to kind of the back side there's this little cave that's been burned it looks like burnings offerings uh, you would say and then there's like this frog that's kind of stuck in the cave um like a little statue or whatever and there's kind of confetti and stuff over there and then also closer to the water there's this rock that looks like it's shaped like a frog and there's all this glass on the bottom like but it almost looks like it's on purpose um broken glass like glass bottles of all different colors and again other stuff there there's another little frog so um i don't actually know the whole history but one of those frogs up there, it said prosperidad, which is prosperity. So I think it has to do with that. Um, people go there, leave offerings and for having prosperity to be prosperous. So anyways, went there um, and then grabbed a bite to eat later and stopped by this place, had a yummy hot chocolate. And uh, there was this Argentinian girl playing some acoustic music in there. So that was nice and chill. And the next day I headed from there to Sorata, where I am now. So it took a bus from Copacabana to Warina. I had to change there from Warina to Sorata. Um, that day was actually nice out. It looks like it was the last day that there was sun. And I ended up uh, taking a walk to this hanging bridge. It's a really pretty nice area in the mountains, really green. Um, there's a little town below you might be able to see right now but it's super like super chill, uh, not very touristy at all. So not a lot going on. There's hotels and things, but like <laughs> really relaxed. So definitely a place to come to get away. Um, there is like hiking and stuff you can do, but, and uh, lagoons and this glacier and all the stuff I was thinking about possibly doing, but it's been raining so much lately. Uh, it's not really recommended from what I've been told. So anyways, I've just been um, seeing what I can explore in my time here. So yesterday I went with um, a couple people from the hostel to this Gruta de San Pedro's name, a grotto. Um, anyways, so we took a long walk there, which was mostly a walk rather than a hike, but it was pretty long. Um, and then there's this huge cave that's actually filled with marble um, so we went inside and explored that and I think they said they only discovered it about 50 years ago I want to say 
So pretty crazy that it's been hidden for so long and there's marble inside, um, so it's protected. But man, had it been discovered by someone else previously, could have been destroyed just to take out all the marble and everything. So anyways, we explored that cave, um, headed back into town, and then uh, later grabbed a beer, my first um, Bolivian beer drink in the little plaza there. Again, it's a super small town. Um, ate some street food, fried chicken, and fries, which is pretty common. Pollo Broster, you find that all over South America. Um, super cheap though, five bolivianos, which is literally less than a dollar. So that's pretty crazy you can eat for so cheap. Um, and later we went to this place to grab some dessert. So that was the rest of yesterday. And today I've been deciding what to do. But again, the weather's been really crappy. Um, anyway, so I ended up walking up to this one viewpoint where it's a really nice view of the city below. You might be able to see. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much been it here. It's been pretty relaxing, even though I've been doing some hikes here and there. There's still just like super chill. Not a lot of tourists. Um, not much going on. No Wi-Fi, like anywhere, whatever. So it's definitely been more relaxing for me. Tomorrow I'm heading into La Paz. Um, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. So I don't know exactly what I'll end up doing, but um, heading into town, there should be plenty going on because it's a big city. And for once, I'm thinking of staying at a party hostel. So hopefully there'll be something fun going on there because they pretty much always have stuff going on and it's easy to meet people. And anyways, always things to do. So we'll see how that goes, but let me show you the view real quick before I take off. Anyways, you can see the town below, that is Sorata. Um, even though there's a lot of clouds, you can still see, luckily, somewhat. And, well, you can't see much more that way. But more pretty views, usually, when it's not filled with clouds, of green-covered mountains. Um, there was actually, like, these mountains we walked by yesterday, Although they're all green, it's kind of like red rock underneath. It kind of reminded me of the Montaña de Siete Colores or the Rainbow Mountain outside of Cusco that was covered in snow. But um, you could actually see some colors there too, so that was pretty cool. But anyways, that's about it for now. Um, I don't know what I'll end up doing the rest of the day. We'll see what happens, but I'm sure it'll be pretty chill. And I will talk to you guys from La Paz next time. Bye.